What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be going over my keyword research strategies that I use for both creating new websites and doing research in old websites that I need to find new keywords for. I'll be going over both free and paid methods, so let's go ahead and get started. Keyword research is very, very important when it comes to growing a website or a blog. So I like to invest in a keyword research tool. I have a plan for Ahrefs. It is the best keyword research tool in the market. In my opinion, it's very easy to use. The information is very, very up to date, and you're able to do very in-depth keyword research and competitor research on Ahrefs. But if you don't have Ahrefs, again, as I mentioned earlier in today's video, I will be showing you some free methods that you can use when um, doing keyword research. But even before you start doing keyword research, if you're starting a brand new website, or even if you have an existing website, you need to think about the strategy of your website. You need to think about the silos. You need to think about the pillar content of those websites. And you need to think about the categories of that website. Let's say, for example, you have a website in the outdoor or gardening niche. You want to kind of figure out how you'll be setting up your website. So this website, which is commonsensehome.com, kind of shows you how um, an idea of how you can set up your website. So, for example, they have their topics here, which is gardening, food storage, home remedies, recipes, preparedness, wild crafting, homesteading, herb herbalism, household tips, natural health and book reviews. So these are kind of the silos of this specific website. And the reason why silos are so important, because once you figure out the categories or the silos, then you can figure out which keywords you'll be writing about. And this allows you to have a more um, deep um, website because you're going very deep on specific topics, which allows you to become an authority within that space. So for example, under gardening, if we scroll there, then we can see different keywords or a blog post topic that this blog post has found to be um, important for this specific keyword or for, for this specific category. And as you can see, there's a lot of content here under this specific um, category, which is gardening. And that is what allows them to grow their authority um, within this space and not have to necessarily grow their website authority or get backlinks. But, but this is really good at building topical authority. I've done a video in the past around topical authority. It is very, very powerful. I'll leave that um, video in the description below this video if you want to get a more of a better idea on topical authority. But again, if you go down to any other topic, so let's go down to food storage. Again, now we can see a variety of different blog posts about food storage um, that this website is deemed to be relevant um, to this specific topic. So we can see here that this is a very, very in-depth website. There's a lot of content on specific categories, and that's the reason why um, they're doing so well. They're ranking, and as you can see, they already have ads on this um, web page, so they're probably doing pretty good in terms of ad revenue. The reason why it's so important to understand categories is because it allows you to do better keyword research. Because once you have a category, then you're able to do keyword research on that specific category. If not, I'll be writing about food storage, and then I'll be writing about gardening, and then uh, maybe writing about household tips, which allows you to have a broad but thin website. Google loves deep websites, and especially if you're trying to get um, approved from AdSense, you need to have very in-depth websites on in-depth topics. So now that you have a better idea as to why categories are so important, let's actually go ahead and do some keyword research. And this is why I really like using a tool because it makes your life so much easier when doing keyword research. So, so let's say I really like this website. This is a direct competitor within my niche. I can go ahead and copy over that website URL. Head over to Site Explorer on Ahrefs and paste that into Site Explorer. And I'll be able to see a snapshot of that website. So this website is doing pretty well. Um, it's estimated that they're making around $9,000 um, if they have ads on this website. In terms of keywords, they're ranking for a lot of different keywords. So over 71,000 keywords. And as you can see here, there's some pretty easy keywords um, that you can rank for. But again, it really is dependent on what your um, niche is all about. So when you're doing keyword research, it's always good to filter down. So what you can do is you can filter down by volume. So let's say you only want to have um, keywords that have a minimum of a thousand search volume per month. So we can apply that. We can also filter by keyword difficulty. Let's say we only want a keywords that have a keyword difficulty of 10. So we can apply those filters. And as you can see here, we still have 180 keywords that have um, a thousand search volume and a KD of 10 or less. So again, 
you get some pretty good ideas here of different um, keywords in which you can use so battery operated heater the last book broccoli worms that may be a pretty good keyword if um, you're within that outdoor niche so if you find a keyword that you like i like to click on that keyword and you get some keyword ideas questions also rank for and um, topics that people are also talking about when it comes to this specific keyword and again this is really good because these are keywords in which you can include within your articles so you can include these keywords within your articles to allow you to rank for related um, keywords to the main keyword in which you're going after which is broccoli worms so terms that match can be worms in broccoli broccoli worms pictures worms on broccoli how to clean broccoli worms and so on and if you like this keyword you can add it to a list so let's say we wanted to add this to our garden um, section of our website then we can make a list called garden and we can find keywords that are specific just for garden and we can um, create that um, folder and include those keywords into that specific list so again this allows us to have categories in our websites do keyword research for those specific categories get at least 50 um, articles on that specific category uh, and we can write about different topics because again it makes keyword research a lot easier because you're more organized but it also helps with your topical authority with your rankings and getting your website approved for adsense now that's the paid method in which you can use a free method that you can use to do your keyword research is to head over to a competitor like this website hit Control a and you need to have the harpa ai chrome extension if you don't have that chrome extension i'll leave a link for it in the description below this video but there's a bunch of different um, prompts in which you can use when using harpa so as we can see on harpa ai there's some seo and keyword um, research specific prompts in which we can use we can do an seo audit for any website we can extract and research seo keywords we can also create a keyword report and seo content plan from one keyword if we need help with topical authority like i was mentioning earlier we can create a table with article ideas to help you build topical authority and we can use the extract and research seo keywords this allows us to extract keywords from a competitor's article perform research and find um, keyword density and lsi keywords we're going to hit page tag so that it knows that we're talking about this specific article hit enter and it should be able to extract those keywords okay so it's pulling up the keyword density numbers and the keywords that they've used within this specific blog post and we also have some lsi keywords so latent semantic indexing keywords um, that's related to the main keyword as I mentioned earlier, there are some free tools in which you can use to do keyword research if you don't have access to Ahrefs. So let's sign out of my paid account of Ahrefs and head over to the home page. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom or the footer of Ahrefs, we're able to use some free SEO tools. So you have a backlink checker, broken link checker, website authority checker. So I can actually go ahead and check the authority of a website, keyword generator, YouTube keyword tool, Bing keyword tool, SERP checker, SEO toolbar, keyword rank checker, and a keyword difficulty checker, website checker, and AI writing tool. So there's actually a bunch of very cool and free tools that you can use from Ahrefs. Most people actually do not take advantage of these tools. So for this specific keyword, I want to check the keyword difficulty metric. So all I need to do is paste in that keyword. We're going to keep it to United States, and then we're going to click check keyword and we'll be able to get a gauge as, as to how difficult this keyword is to rank for. So for a keyword, how to start a garden, we see here that it's 62 out of 100, which means it's a pretty hard keyword to go after. And if we scroll down, we see a snapshot of the SERP, which is the search engine rankings. We see the DR, we see the UR, the backlinks, domains, traffic, and keywords. So overall, this is um, a pretty difficult keyword to go after, but again, you wouldn't know that unless you used a keyword research tool um, and it's nice that we have some free tools in which we can use from Ahrefs. Another pretty cool um, tool is the keyword generator. So again, we just enter that keyword that we're trying to go after and hit find keywords. And again, we're going to get a list of variations of keywords in which we can use. So how to start a garden, when to start a garden, is it too late to start a garden? And this is um, from August 3rd. So we know that this is an updated keyword. It has a surge volume of 200, has a keyword difficulty of seven. So this may be a pretty good keyword that you can write about because this is very seasonal. Right now it's the end of August. Um, so people may be thinking if it's too late to start a garden because winter is coming up. But again, we wouldn't be able to have this information without using a keyword research tool. 
and this was completely free to use. You didn't have to pay for Ahrefs. So I highly recommend that if you are tight on a budget, you can use free tools like Harpa AI. You can search up your competitors and then we can um, extract main keywords and things of that nature. And then if you extract the main keywords from a website, you can always go to ChatGPT and tell it to give you more related keywords based upon those keywords to get an even longer list of keywords. But when it comes to getting data such as keyword difficulty uh, metrics and search um, volume metrics, that's when a tool or a paid tool comes in handy because you're able to get more accurate data. Another effective and free keyword research tool that I came across recently, it's called Answer Socrates. And essentially all you do is enter your topic within this section. So let's say start a garden and it changes to the United States. Then just go ahead and hit search and you'll be able to get questions related to the topic in which you entered. So our plant garden, should I start a garden? When to start a garden? How much does it cost to start a garden? Can I, can I start a garden in July? Da da da. And again, this gives you really good ideas of content that you can create for this pillar. So let's say we wanted to just write about garden in general. This can be um, content that we can write that's right under um, that specific category. So we can write about when is the best time to start a garden? How do you start a garden? Should I start a garden in a specific time? The cost of starting a garden. Um, where is the best place to start a garden? Um, which climates are better um, for gardens or or things of that nature. So this is kind of like answer the public, but completely free to use um, and very, very easy to use as well. And you also have prepositions as well. Um, below we have words that include to, words with with, words with without. So again, you get some really, really good car, uh, content ideas. We can even write about starting a garden in a specific state. Um, that can be um, other content that you create under the pillar content of starting a garden. So this is completely free to use. And as you can see, you're getting a lot of content ideas that you can implement into your blog post. So if you want to check this out again, I'll leave a link for this website in the description below this video. But overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you're able to implement these keyword research strategies to help grow your website. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.